Commander Hawkins, sir. Good to see you, Dalton. I'll get right to the point. Your request for reinstatement in the Marines has been denied. Again. I know you're disappointed, but we can try again in six months. Can I bucket up the line? I spoke with General Drexler personally. It was no go. Damn. When you return to your ship, you'll have a new pilot. He's a Hex Corps alien named Naban. We got him in an officer exchange program. He's some kind of muckety-muck on his home planet, and the brass want him kept out of harm's way. You've got the quietest patrol, so you're it. I'm getting mighty tired of babysitting the ass end of nowhere. The colonial authority isn't so bad, John. We don't see as much action as the Marines, but our tradition of service is just as strong. Save it for the recruits, sir. I know the score. Stow it, Dalton. We've got a new refresher course set up in the basement. Either give it a run or get back to your ship. Dismissed. Do you want to take the training run, or get back to your ship? I should be getting back. Safe journey, John.
First Officer Ida returning command of the ship to you, sir. Ship's engineer Isaac is standing by on the upper deck, and ship's pilot Nabon has the con. Good to be back. Really? I thought you enjoyed playing soldier with your pal Hawkins. What's our status? While you were docking, we received a distress call from the Alara Star System. We're already en route. Would you like to take an inspection tour of the ship and meet our new pilot, or go right to the briefing room for the mission? Let's find out what we're in for this time. Okay. I'll meet you in the briefing room. Ready for the briefing? Fire when ready. We're headed for Sanctuary, the fifth planet in the Alara system. It's an Earth-style world with a dense jungle covering. It's currently uninhabited except for a Leandri mining operation. A few hours ago, I received the following distress call. Mayday, mayday! This is the Leandri Station Lima 6 on Sanctuary. We're in trouble down here. The facility has been overrun by hostile aliens. We don't know what the hell they are or where they came from. Multiple casualties, please assist. That's it. We don't know who is attacking them or why. Let's look at the main base in the Hola Tank. The Leandri complex has two components. The ore processing unit grinds up the rocks and extracts precious minerals. Unfortunately, we don't have any blueprints of the interior. They've cleared away the jungle and separated the power plant from the main facility by a few hundred yards. This huge generator provides juice for the heavy rock-crushing equipment. Here is the nearest entrance from your drop point. Good luck down there. Isaac should be waiting across the hall to do your weapons loadout. If not, you'll probably find him in his cabin sleeping one off. I'll be right here if you have any further questions. I liberated a grenade launcher and a few frag grenades from a depot in Avalon. You want to take a look? Or how about we brush up on your other weapons? Let's have a look. The M406 grenade launcher has slots for six different grenade types. Tapping your primary fire lobs out a grenade that explodes on contact. Holding the trigger a little longer engages the timing mechanism so you can bounce them around some. Secondary fire chambers the next grenade type if you've got any. If you like, I can tell you about the individual grenades. Take your pick. How about the pistol? The T-13 pop gun is your standard law enforcement sidearm. Doesn't need ammo. Recharges from a quantum pack in the handle. Primary fire is a slow-moving energy pulse. Alt fire charges up a stronger pulse until you release it. A dependable fallback weapon, but not much use in a crowd. 
Anything else? Let me see the car. The M32 Duster fires depleted uranium shards that don't have shells, but build up a nasty dust that gets ejected between clips. Primary fire spits out rounds at a very high automatic rate. Alt fire is a cluster of five shards packed together to form a single slower moving slug. The slug breaks apart when it hits a wall. So if you're good, you can even shoot around corners. Very effective overall. You can hose down an area with primary fire or deliver a single lethal punch with the alt fire. What'll it be? Tell me about the frag grenade. Enormous explosive power and needle sharp carbo steel fragments. Absolutely lethal in close quarters. Any others? See you later. Yes, mother. Look, I'm not kidding. I don't want to have to come down there and save your sorry ass. Relax, I'm sure the natives are friendly. you on the security network. Is the system two-way? Can you hear me? Don't bother talking back. The system's only one way. I won't hear you. Glad we cleared that up. Boy, am I glad to see you. TCA, wow! I wasn't sure anyone got my distress call. I'm Danny Miller, level one technician. I hope you're here to rescue me, because there's no way I'm getting out on my own. 
Everyone I see on the security cameras is dead. I'm barricaded in a security office over in the generator building. You'll have to go through the collection plant to get here, though. Hmm. The main route is blocked. Hold on, I'll open the hatches to the runoff basin. It's a short swim. There's a camera on the other side, so I'll see you when you come up. Jesus, John. Are we ever that clean? How's your suit pressure? Fine. You ever heard the expression, blood is thicker than water? Well, it's true. Next 
next up is the drainage room. It's chock full of those creatures, but there's no other way. Does your guidebook list this as a vacation spot for Scar? It's probably picking up on a cesarean grunts. I don't like this, John.
the area yet. Stay put! Damn kid's gonna get himself killed. No! No! Leave me alone! Stay away! Get back! Negative. Your job's done. Fighting Scar isn't in the mission profile. That kid just died to keep the artifact from the Scar. You think I'm gonna just walk away? Get me down there. Forget it. I'm going, whether you help me or not. Damn. Go to the control room and power up the generator. And you better hope they kill you. Because if they don't, I will. Thank you. 
The artifact, whatever it is, looks alien and really old. I called HQ and they went eight. A speedship of Marines is on the way to collect it. Get to the surface and run them down till they get there.
work, Marshal. You should have been a Marine. Don't get me started. That the artifact? Doesn't look like much. Must be important to someone, though. Okay. We'll take it from here. Take care flying out. The area is still plenty hot. Will do. Semper Fi. What's up, Ida? We got more trouble down there. Cows were shot down before they reached escape velocity. Their ship crashed in a forest on the far side of the planet. They've still got the artifact. They've set up a perimeter and will hold position until you arrive. on foot. They've lit beacons to guide you to the crash site. The indigenous creatures shouldn't give you any trouble, but somebody shot that ship down. Whoever did is probably still around. Go get the Marines and move into a clearing big enough to send the Atlantis down. I'll see you soon. Roger. Did you get the artifact? Dug it out of the wreckage. 
Not a scratch on it. Any enemy activity? Just some Azarian scouts. Of course, now they know we're here. We need to scout out a clearing. Way ahead of you. There's a spot about two clicks away. Perfect for a dropship. There's not gonna be a dropship. What? We're bringing the Atlantis down. Holy shit. Can you do that? Piece of cake. All right, Marines, look sharp. We're moving out. Stay close, Marshal. If we get separated, I'll come find you.
those rocks and set up a turret.
Marshall.